Well, we were given a brief by our tutor Tim to basically make a Spitfire out of nothing but cardboard and tape. <laughs> We uh, started off by going up to the museum and actually looking at the Spitfire in person so we kind of got a feel of how big it was. Um, at that point we, um, we kind of started doing some sketches, some initial designs and we put together a, a base for how we could actually build the plane itself. So like a skeletal frame if, if you'd like. Yeah. It's actually made up of a lot of discs and carpet tubes. <laughs> it was really interesting to learn more about Reginald Mitchell and how he came up with the Spitfire, you know, how he designed it, and it's like the most iconic airplane of its time, like the, spy, uh, the fighting Spitfire. And to think that it actually came from Stroke is pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. I think it's really important to show all the parts of the city and the history of Stoke on Trent. Um, so I think things like this, you know, all these big projects and stuff that the local artists are doing is really, really important to that because it shows that artistic, creative side of Stoke that is really important and it's what birthed it really. Yeah, I mean, I think us being able to represent something so great really gives us a, a feeling of accomplishment. Not only are we doing something that means a lot to our city, and our country, but it, it means a lot to us because we're literally diving into head first. <laughs>